I've been thinking a lot about suicide lately. Not for myself, don't worry. I still have so much to live for. But I had this random thought the other day. Somebody was the first person to commit suicide. And before this guy did it, it was something no one had ever considered before. Now, I'm not talking about sacrifice, like, you know, your brother's being attacked by a leopard, so you'd run in to help him and then, ah! Or ritual sacrifice, like saying that, oh, hey, if I let that guy on the top of the pyramid cut my head off, we will all have better crops this year. No, I'm talking about like caveman times, you know, when like everything is about survival and there's this one guy that says, hey, you know that thing we spend 100% of our time and effort trying to avoid? Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Spear, cliff. Like when exactly in human evolution did we become smart enough to be depressed? And you have this emo caveman sitting in a dark corner of the cave, all like, ooh, what does it all mean? Drawing the cure lyrics into the cave walls with a burnt stick. That had to have happened. Somewhere. Cassidy Merriweather asked, which is smarter, a dolphin or an octopus? Cassidy, this is such a smart question. It could only come from somebody who is smarter than both a dolphin and an octopus. So congratulations. Everybody knows that dolphins are smart, but not a lot of people know that octopi, as we in the oceanography field call them, are actually really freaking smart animals. Octopi and cephalopods in general are actually known as the pranksters of the sea because they've been known to get into divers sealed gear and make off with their stuff. Researchers have even shown an octopus figuring out how to unscrew the lid of a jar to get to some food that's inside. So while dolphins just have their weird, you know, thalidomide flippers, octopi not only have two, but eight very tactile and flexible and agile tentacles that they use to get into all kinds of trouble. And just as human beings got smarter over time after having opposable thumbs and digits, um, so did the octopus. They became really smart. But dolphins can like talk with each other. Dolphins not only have a very complex language of clicks and squeaks, they also have the ability to hunt together and work together as a community. And as anybody who has been to SeaWorld can tell, has been trained to do all kinds of shit. So advantage dolphin. But hold up, it turns out that octopi also have a very complex system of communication, only it doesn't use sound, but sight. Holy crap, just look at these things can do. Octopi have the ability to change their colors and patterns on their skins and even their textures to make different shapes for camouflage and for communication. Like imagine if somebody pissed you off and you had the ability to flash across your forehead the words, I'm gonna cut your dick off. That's essentially what octopi can do. It's just a, an amazing system of communication that's unlike anything else in the animal kingdom. So I don't know which one is actually smarter. All I know is that when science up and creates an octofen, I will go nowhere near the water. You can join the conversation on YouTube. Just click subscribe to keep up with all the questions and answers you can handle. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas for the show, I'd love to hear them. Please leave them in the comments section below. Uh, thanks again for watching and uh, until next time, let your awesome be your guide.